guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a really exciting video for you all today. I'm so excited to share what to do with your stainless steel water bottles once you've finished with them. Now, stainless steel water bottles can actually last up to 12 years. Fun fact. So they do last a long time, but if yours is banged and dented, just like my sister's, I got her this water bottle as like a present and it's lasted a great, like a long time. It's just, uh, she lost the cap recently which was very devastating. So it's kind of unusable without a cap because everything just spills out. So I was going to go recycle it, but I thought I'd share some cool upcycle repurposing tips and tricks and ideas with you guys that I discovered while I was looking into it that you can do with your water bottles in case you're not ready to recycle them because they do last a very long time. And I actually do opt for them to over glass often because if you have a glass bottle, it's highly likely to break which has happened to me in the past and it's not fun when you have water all in your bag plus glass shards and you have to try and clean that up, it's not fun. So taking glass water bottles out with you is sometimes not the best thing, as I've discovered. So another option is to use stainless steel, much more sturdier, much more durable, much more stronger and it lasts for up to 12 years as I said. So you have a long lifespan with your water bottle. Now, the only thing is it can get dented. So, and hers actually doesn't sit straight anymore. Like, it's kind of tilted. I don't know, this isn't a flat surface, but it, it leans because she's dented the bottom. It's still usable, it just means that because she's lost the lid, that's why we're recycling it. But before I get into how to recycle it, I'll share with you some ways you can upcycle it. But I thought I'd share something interesting that I learned this week. Very fascinating and also really unfortunate. So plastic recycling ends up being more harmful on the environment than say metal recycling and things like that because metal because recycling metal items actually saves energy and uses less energy than it would to create a whole new metal item whereas plastic there are a few things about plastic recycling that I didn't know until this week so before we get into that I thought I'd quickly share when you have a plastic bottle the reason why I don't like using plastic bottles hold on a sec I'm just so hot. I've got a massive solar going. My big light here is just casting like a lot of heat onto my face and so I'm like super sweaty. So yeah, anyway, we'll move on from that. <laughs> so as I was saying, plastic containers, they actually can leach the chemicals from the plastic into the food item or the liquid inside, which is like, oh, you don't want that. I do share more about plastic and like the toxic effects of plastic in my blog post, which I'll link in the description down below if you want to delve into it more. But I'll just do a quick summary. So things that are like hot or really cold, so be freeze items in plastic containers or plastic bottles, when they go from varying temperatures, plastic chemicals in plastic container or bottle can leach into those food items and then you consume it, which is like really not good. It's very toxic for you. So that can be the downside of, of storing things in plastic and leaving th items in plastic for a long time also means that plastic can leach into those like food items as well and, and liquids. So it's just not great all, all around. So for me, I strongly try to avoid storing things in plastic because it most likely will leach into your food or drinks. So I tend to go for stainless steel, which I did share the bottle that I use from Hydro Flask in my eco-friendly haul, products haul. If you want to check that out, I'll link it above. So I tend to opt for stainless steel because it's nice and durable, nice and strong and easy to take out with you and just lasts for ages. And oh, just fell over. So the process of actually melting down and recycling plastic can produce VOC fumes, which is, and VOCs are just volatile organic compounds. And these fumes can actually harm plants and animal life near the industrial site. So they actually carry toxic effects. It's really not good for you to breathe in. What's more, the heat required to melt down the plastic actually produces quite a lot of carbon emissions, which can contribute to the climate change that we're experiencing at the moment got some hair on me. Anyway, that wasn't part of it, just a side note. Also, the VOCs, as I mentioned, can also cause harm to people like us when we come in contact with recycled plastic. This is because, like I said earlier, the plastic resin that is made from petroleum, like an oil, fossil fuel in fact, that it actually can leach into our food and liquids that it's contained in those plastic items. Now, due to the potential health risks that recycled plastic can actually pose because of these toxins, much of the plastic that's recycled tends to be downcycled. Not to be mistaken for upcycling. Upcycling is different. That's when you create it into something new and useful. 
Downcycling is different. So downcycling basically means that instead of this plastic item becoming a new container, it actually becomes a different, less useful product. And the problem with this is that once plastic has been downcycled, it's often unfit after that to go through another round of recycling. So then it's usually just chucked into landfill anyway. So it's downcycling often just postpones the inevitable process of it being thrown away, which is very unfortunate. So it's definitely not a sustainable way of processing plastic, I can tell you. I feel like we need to find a new, more sustainable way of harnessing this plastic rather than just chucking it into the landfill, which and we all know it doesn't disappear like that. It stays in the land for thousands and thousands of years, longer than our own lifetimes. So we do need to figure out a plan on how to dispose of plastic more sustainably. So that is what I learned about plastic this week. Hope you found it interesting. I was like, whoa, crazy. You always think that when they recycle plastic, it's going to become something new, something useful. And that's not always the case, which is very just... I'm not impressed. Anyway, we'll get into the upcycling tips now. <laughs> it's like been like 10 minutes of the video, and I'm finally getting into the upcycling bit, the bit we've all been waiting for. Here it is. So a few different ways you can upcycle your so stainless steel water bottles if you're not ready to recycle them. I will go into how to recycle them later on in this video, so if you want to recycle your bottle, if it's reached the end of its life, if it's ready for retirement, and you're ready to recycle it, I'll show you how to do that. So for the first thing that you can do with your stainless steel water bottle is to use it as a little cooking tool or baking tool. So this stainless steel water bottle can actually be used as a rolling pin. It's the perfect shape and it's really easy to roll on top of dough, on top of baked items, I guess, mainly dough. And you can also use the round top as a cookie cutter. Just use it cut out different shapes in the dough to make cookies. It's very handy. And I'm about to run out of battery, so I'm just gonna quickly charge my camera and I'll be back soon. Stay tuned. The next upcycling idea for today is to turn your sinister water bottle into a flower vase. So, or vase, depending how you say it. So all you need to do is just pour in some water, then collect some flowers from your local farmer's market if you like, or if you have a bouquet of flowers that someone's given you, pop them in. I had some flowers that were given to my mum, so I popped them into the stainless steel water bottle and it just looks so pretty. You can even, if you want to, get creative and decorate the outside of your water bottle if you like. The outside was already blue, so I didn't need to do that. But you can, you can get paints, feel free to draw designs on the outside and make it look really fancy. Just add a little something extra to it. The next upcycling idea is, I'm just going to shorten it, maybe abbreviate it to NUP next upcycling I do. You can also turn your stainless steel water bottle into a way to mix up your drinks or liquids without a spoon. So say you have a protein shake that you want to mix up, you don't have one of those containers. If you do have those metal spheres that you use to break up the powder, that's also very helpful. You can pop it in. Maybe if you have a wider mouth stainless steel water bottle, I guess it might still fit in here. But all you do, you pull the liquid in, pull the protein powder in, or you can use tea leaves, soak tea leaves in there. You can also use supplement powders. So you know, the sky's the limit really. You can just pour the liquid, the powder in, and then just all the leaves and just shake it up. And there you go. You don't have to use a spoon to do it. Next is to turn your stainless steel water bottle into a herb garden. This was one of my most favorite ideas. I thought this was so creative. All you do is you grab some potting soil, you grab your herb seeds or other seeds that you want to put in here. You can just grow flowers as well. You can put them inside, then you just water it a little bit and let it sit at the windowsill in a nice sunny spot and then just watch the magic unfold. Watch those herbs start to sprout out the top and you can use it and sit on your windowsill and just easy pickings for some herbs during the day to add to meals, smoothies, you can even dry them out and turn them into a greens powder or just like a herbs uh, seasoning. It's like the sky's the limit really, just go crazy. A tip for that is to actually, if you want, you can drill holes in the bottom of your stainless steel water bottle to create a sort of filtration system for the herb garden so that the water doesn't sort of sit at the bottom. Though it can, it should be alright, but if you are a bit concerned and you want the water to be able to drain out so it doesn't cool, kind of flood the inside, just simply drill a few, few holes at the bottom and you have a nice filtration system for the herb garden. Oh, I forgot to say, you can also use white chalk to write on the front of what the herbs are inside if you like as well. Some bottles actually have millimetres or ounces on the outside so you can use it to measure liquid so that can also be helpful as well. I think this one's just a litre. 
So if you want to measure something that was a litre worth, you can use that as well. So it can be a great measuring tool for your kitchen or garden or wherever you like to measure things with. Usually that's really more beneficial if you do have like the label of how many ounces it is for like different levels. I have seen those bottles before, usually like on plastic ones, but I have seen them on stainless steel recently. And they have just like a measuring sort of system along the side and that can be really helpful if you want to measure out some liquids while you're cooking. You can also use your stainless steel water bottle as a container for dry food mixes. So say if you're out on a long hike or if you're camping and you want to take some food with you, like snacks, some healthy snacks, you can pop in your dry mix, dry foods mix, dry nut mix, and just sort of twirl it around if you want to shake up all the different nuts inside, nuts and seeds. You can go crazy with it, put a trail mix in there. It's so, so handy for that. It's a great size as well. So you can take that with you out and about and it's very handy. I've done it once on hikes where I've filled up some of my uh, keep cups with snack items and it's so handy because there's such a small like size and it fits much more easily into your bag rather than having a giant container of things. And if you're camping you can actually measure out ingredients and put them inside. I have seen someone which is really cool, they actually put uh, like different flowers like and crushed seeds and nuts in, in there to make a protein powder so it's like a whole different range of different seeds and nuts to make this vegan protein powder and then when they got there they shook it up and then just poured the water in shook it up and had uh, their own protein shake so that can also be another idea you can also turn your stainless steel water bottle into a travel compost bin so again if you're out camping there's nowhere for you to put your scraps they only have a bin that you think is just going to end up in landfill you're like i don't want to do that don't want to cause more methane emissions to head into that atmosphere you can turn your stainless steel bottle into a travel compost bin so all you do is you grab your food scraps so say you have a peach seed banana skin apple core you have an apricot seed you have anything any type of item that's a food scrap preferably probably not bones or bread because if you put them in your compost it attracts rodents and you don't want that so to make your travel compost bin, all you do is you line it with some newspaper or one of those bio bags, those biodegradable or home compostable uh, bio bags that you can get. Uh, I will link in the description below if I find one, I can share it with you guys. And you just line your drink bottle inside and you just pop in your scraps. And then once you get home or you get to a spot, say like out in the bush, you can pop in just, just food scraps, nothing like rubbish or anything. You can tip out your food scraps, kind of bury it there, or you can take it home to worry them about the next one, but their dog's barking. Uh, you can just take it home and pop it into your own compost bin at home, and voila, you've just helped to reduce methane emissions in landfill, which is great. And also, it saves on food waste as well, um, and just is a great all round idea. I just thought this was such a cool thing to do. Big tip to keep in mind though, if you're using it for a compost bin, just make sure to just like deposit the scraps into your garden or compost bin as soon as you can when you get home because you don't want it to go all funky inside from having food scraps sitting in there for ages. So when, at the first opportunity you want to make sure to empty out the scraps, maybe wash it out and then it's good to go. You can use your bottle to fill up your pet's water bowls so this can be set aside next to theirs and it's just an easy tool to pour water into their bowl so that's just a nice simple idea. You can also use it as a little watering can. So you can turn your bottle into like a way to water your garden. So you can either just pour it straight from the top and just gently pour it over the garden. You don't want to bombard it because it kind of floods the garden and it's not great. So when you do it, just gently pour it over the top. Otherwise, you can also drill tiny holes in the bottom and create like a little watering can kind of system. And it just saves them getting a new watering can. It just lasts a for ages too. And just like an easy system to water the garden with. It's really cool. And last but not least, but by no means are these the only options for what you can do with your water bottle. Get creative if you like. Like share new ideas that you've come up with for your water bottle in the comments below. We'd all love to hear. So for our last idea is it's a great little holder to keep spare change in. So say you want to set up a little travel fund. You can put loose change that you collect over time and just keep depositing it in your bottle and over time maybe at the end of the year you collect it all up and see if you can take yourself or a partner or a friend on a, like a weekend away or a trip away somewhere. I know we're in COVID at the moment so you may not be able to go too far overseas but you could go explore your own country, maybe go somewhere fancy for just like a weekend away, treat yourself, treat yourself. I like the idea of making a travel fund, like a little uh, travel 
account because I love to travel but it can also be for grocery shopping or just to buy a dress that you've been wanting to get for ages and you think you should save up for it rather than just spending all that money straight away it can be also used for that so just like a little bank account for yourself so yeah that's pretty much how you can turn your water bottle into something new and different and useful at home or when you're out and about but we'll move on to how to recycle it so if you're looking to recycle your water bottle because it's had it there's just no more oomph left in it and you need to find somewhere where you can recycle it properly so it's more environmentally friendly and doesn't end up in landfill when it can be used to make something brand new so what you do is you actually need to take it to a scrap metal or metal scrap recycling facility because normal curbside recycling doesn't actually take stainless steel water bottles because when they take it to the recycling facility they actually crush and bundle together the items to be recycled and stainless steel won't crush with their machines so they don't take it for that reason so it needs to be taken to a special place for recycling but the bonus is you can actually get paid for taking it to the recycling place but usually they pay in like tonnage so for your bottle you probably only get a few cents <laughs> so if you want to collect up bottles maybe from friends family try and pull them all together and then take them, you might get a bit more. But my intention for recycling it is actually not to get money from it. Actually, I don't expect to get anything in all honesty for this. I'd probably be like, mm, you probably need more than that. But I just want to take it there to get recycled and so it's not in landfill. So I'm happy to just go for free. <laughs> so I'm going to take it up. I have missed the deadline to take it in today. I was supposed to be there by four, but that didn't happen. I didn't get to film this video till late and, <laughs> oops, I keep falling over. And then I had to charge my camera, so we definitely did not make that time frame. So I'm going to take it in tomorrow. So I'll see you guys then to take it in. To find a metal scrap recycling facility, all you do, well, all I did was just type online on Google the nearest scrap metal recycling facility, like near me, and what came up was one that was local to me. So I just drove one over. Some places may or may not take it, maybe call up beforehand just to make sure that they'll take your items. They may even give you a quote on how much you'll get for it as well. So up to you. But I will be heading there tomorrow to recycle this. They're my blue light glasses and I forgot to take them off at home. I was just editing all my videos and then I thought I'd come and pop by here before they close. So here I am. So I just hand in the stainless steel bottle that I had. It's been a few days since I've actually talked to you guys. I was supposed to go the day after but that just didn't work out. I had too many things on. So I ended up coming, I think it's the following Monday. So I'm here on Monday, like four days later. Got there in the end though and all I had to do was just hand the guy the bottle and he took it and popped it in with all the other metal recycling in that he was gathering together which was why it was so loud when I walked in. He was in his forklift driving all the metal together in a bunch. So yeah, it was so easy. So if you guys do want to hand in just a single metal bottle, most places will take them and you can always call up, like I said, if you're not sure about it. But yeah, it's super easy. I'm really happy now that job is like done. Just tick that off my little to-do list. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do let me know if you recycle any of your stainless steel bottles or if you upcycle them in any way. I'd love to hear what you guys do. And I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you again soon in my future videos. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for sticking out this whole video with me and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.